Hello, Sean. This is 404 Detroit over in Niceville. It's actually right on the Val P side, so I'm going to check the address again and see whether it's Val P or Niceville. But it's right next to Jackson, and I believe we are in the city limits of Val P. So I'm going to give you the street view. Um, here are the houses next to uh, 404 Detroit. This house is actually very cute. Um, there's Government Boulevard right over that way, which is 85, and then your route straight to work. So it's very, very close to base, and I know that's what you're looking for. It's on a big lot, and there are not the restrictions in this neighborhood. Um, as I walk up the driveway, I wanted you to see that there's a fence, and they've got a trailer in the backyard, but that fence... Uh, will open wide enough to bring a trailer back there and you can get to your backyard through that fence Now there's a bunch of pine needles on the ground and you'll have to figure something out for that But you said you got a big truck and to tow all your stuff But the one thing on this house is no garage, but the house is very cute um, Roof looks like it's in good shape brick rancher and then a cute porch on the front Again, I apologize if I make you seasick at all as I go through the house uh, I tried to get all the doors and lights on before we went in. So, here's the porch and your entry. This one has a lot more curb appeal than Jackson, and I think this will also be a phenomenal rental. Uh, now, as we step into the house, because it's so bright outside, my camera may take a little bit to adjust. Alright, this is your front entry your living area now off to the right is the master and then that cutout and that doorway right there is to the kitchen and then to the left is your bathroom and your guest rooms so this is the full space the carpets are in really good shape I don't think they've been replaced um, since they came out but they've cleaned them up they're in pretty good shape um, it could use a painting or you could choose not to use a painting. It's not freshly painted, but um, everything looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and go off to the master. And this is your master. And it's actually a little bigger than the Jackson master, but not by much. And then you've got your bathroom and the bathroom has been updated there's a new cabinet new toilet and then a stand-in shower so, hi. there you go I know that's cheesy but, and the tile is in good shape on the floor this place is really cute and will make a great rental now the door that we came in from the master there's also a walk-in closet so it has its own light in it. There you go. It's your walk-in closet. Alrighty, the master one more time from the other direction. So that's where your door to your bathroom would be. And go around the room. There we go. And now we're going back into the living area. And off to our right, we've got this cutout. And then we've got our entrance is into the kitchen. Now the appliances do come with them. They are newer appliances, which is great. And the cabinets have been kept in great shape. Nice solid wood cabinets. If you wanted to update them a little, you could always put knobs on them and maybe put some new countertops. They are from Mica. They're in good shape, but they are from Mica. So that's all up to you if you wanted to. But if you're going to plan on making it a rental when you leave, I would just suggest you leave them. All right, and there's a little bar. So you have room to put bar stools. And then in the area that we're in is where they probably had a kitchen nook. And you could put a little table here. There you go. And then your utility room has your water heater. And then a place for laundry hookups. There you go. And then out to the backyard and I'm going to go out to the backyard after I show you the whole house. Alright, so there's the kitchen again. Go back through 
the cutter. There we go. And then you have your two bad or two bedrooms down the hall. All right, good full size bathroom. Got a shower. Um, updated cabinetry and sink. Toilet's in good shape. It's an older tub, but it still still works, still good. There you go. And the bathrooms are where you usually have a little bit of water damage, and I do not see any really. Just taken. There you go. There you go. All right, and now we're into the hallway, and we'll go into bedroom number two. Smaller bedroom, very similar to the Jackson house. Maybe the same builder, even. And this closet looks like it's only the space of the door, but when you go in, there's actually shelves on the left. There you go, and there's no light in there, so able to show you all of it. But it's a good size closet. You can walk around. Then we go out into the hallway and there's a coat closet here in the hallway. So there we go. I will shut that so we can go into the other bedroom. This is bedroom number three. So a smaller bedroom I'm trying to give you the full view of it. And then, this also has a good size closet. Big door. Alrighty. I'm looking at the doors and I just saw down here there's a little, looks like cracking on the door, but it's cosmetic and there's not really. just want to see that. Okay. And then there is another little closet here for you to put your linens in. So there's two closets in this hallway. We had the linen closet that we're looking at right now. There's bedroom number three that we just showed. There's the hallway coat closet. Bedroom number two there on the side. And then into the bathroom. So, Alrighty, now we're going to go outside after we go through the kitchen again. I'm gonna go out to the backyard. There's a screen door here. And then there's, oop, there's a squirrel. Um, little patio area. Pretty sure that swing will not come with the house, but. And I lift up, start the fence. You can see. Fence has swinging door or yeah, swinging doors so you can open them up in the gate and get a truck through those. And there's the trailer I was telling you about that's in the backyard. There's a little clothesline, and then you can see there are other folks in your neighborhood that have put in sheds and garages in the back of their houses as well. Uh, big trees on your lot. We'll go all the way to the other side of the house. You can see what's over there. There you go. There's your AC system as well. And there's a gate on that side too. Alright, and then here's the back of the house. Just so you can see the house. Roof's in great condition. There you go. Alright, well that's Lena, uh, or this is Lena signing off on Detroit and Valpy. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.